It's Ray Give TV. Ray Give TV. The GOAT. Got the content. Click that bell. Tune in. Okay, so check it out. Jeremy Green pulls up on WAP 100. Tells a story about Diddy acting real weird. What? Let me shout out to WAP 100. The whole 100 size spin Let's the block. get to the content. It's Ray Give TV. In the block. Why'd you leave that boy, Jeremy? Okay, straight up. So, first of all, everybody, I, I haven't really told anybody this shit, but everybody's asking, like, yo, yo, you know you're not a bad boy. What'd you see? I'm going to just be straight up honest with you. Puff, he's not a... But he's a fucking evil, maniacal person. You know what I mean? And he's, he's just not good to people, man. And he's... And he's pretty much, he's, I mean, he's definitely the party party guy. Like, yo, here's the story. So I, I so this is how I met Puff. I had just came off MySpace. I was fucking humongous. Puff was looking for an answer to Justin Timberlake. Because Justin Timberlake was killing at the time. So he signed me, right? I'm working at Daddy's house, <clears throat> right? Um, I'm not signed to Puff at the time. And, uh... He offers me a publishing deal. <coughs> I think it was like a hundred thousand dollars, and I was like, "No, nah, I'm not taking a hundred thousand dollars for my publishing." He flips. Yo, you ain't gonna get a bigger deal. So I wait until he leaves to go to L.A., and then I invite Big John Ethiopia over to Daddy's house in his studio, playing three songs. They offer me three hundred fifty thousand dollars on the spot. I call Puff, and I'm like, "Yo, Puff, I got, I got a deal." And he's like, what? You brought these motherfuckers into my building and up and like, yo, and like up, to, up, uh, got them to bid my off up. He's like, I'll fucking destroy it. I said, cool. You know what? I told everybody to leave the studio. We all went back to the hotel. We disappeared. Puff is literally calling everybody in my crew and threatening. I mean, threatening them. I fucking, yo, you'll never fucking, I'll fucking destroy you. I mean, yo, he literally, yo, whack, he literally called Adam Lambert when Adam was running Universal Publishing. It's like, yo, if you sign this fucking white boy, I'm gonna go, fu- I'm a fucking, I'm gonna burn the fucking building out like crazy shit, right? And he kept calling me all night and I hang up on his face. I was like, yo, you're gonna pay me what I'm worth. And I kept hanging up on him. Finally, at the end of the night, <coughs> um, <coughs> Cassie called me and was like, yo, Puff ain't slept all night. You guys are arguing. He wants to talk to you. I said, okay. He gets on the phone. He goes, yeah, I'll give you seven fifty for the record deal and you're publishing, but you're signing today. And I was like, all right, perfect. So did that. <clears throat> Picked me up. You know, took me to L.A. <clears throat> I stayed at this house for like, I don't know, five hey, months. You, you really shouldn't even be talking about that man when he got the L.P. Oh, yo, yo. In the block. Who the, the fuck, fuck is that? I don't know. Yo, yeah, moderate. I'm gonna be bringing everybody up on stage. Moderate. Man. Let's go. So there was a specific. So <clears throat> I'm out here working on Last Train to Paris with him. We go back to New York. He's he's basically trying to take all my songs for his album. Like, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> it's hold on. I got a crazy cold. It's getting pretty clear that Puff's not really interested in putting my music out whack. He's interested in taking my songs for his own album. You know what I mean? Got you. <clears throat> so, he, we go back to New York. He's like, yo, come up to the uh, uh, house. I want to talk to you. So I'm like, okay, it's like 12 at night. I'm like, why does he want to meet me at 12 at night? I'm like, this is weird as fuck. So I go up there. It's just him by himself. He opens the door, whack. <laughs> and it's literally what you can imagine a motherfucking like silk pajamas and shit. Like this dude looks like a Jay Jodeci video. I'm not joking. Opens the door. He's in like silk pajamas and shirt on butt. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm thinking Cassie's there, <clears throat> right? I'm like, okay, maybe Cassie's in here, blah, blah. They're doing their thing. He wants to talk to me real quick. I get in there where he goes, yo, let me talk to you in the bathroom for a minute. I'm like, why do you want to go in the, the bathroom? What the fuck are you talking about? And he goes, <clears throat> yo, I need you to sing in the mirror. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah. He's like, yo, yo. He's like, yo. 
He's like, yeah, I, I want you to, I want to see you sing in the mirror because I want to know that you can sing to girls. I'm like, Puff, this is weird as fuck. And he's like, here, let me show you. He turns in the mirror and a dude starts singing in the mirror, Puff. Like, I mean, it like whack. So weird. So uncomfortable. And he looks higher than giraffe pussy. I mean, he's definitely on one. And it ain't weak. He's pretending he's got a microphone. He's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, let me see you do that, player. I was like, man, this is just uncomfortable, bro. And he starts to try and massage my shoulders. And I like lean out of it. Oh. I'm like, I'm like, I kind of was like, what the fuck? And then he reaches down. He goes to grab my junk, dog. And I ran. I'm by the way, I'm like 18 at the time. I freaked out and ran out of the building. I just ran to the door, yo. And I, I'm, I told my manager, and I was like, yo, you, I'm, I, I need to be, I'm not, I'm not working for us. I packed my shit up that day. I went home to Maine and I made them drop me. Cause I thought that was the, I was like, how are you ever going to get back from that? I was like, the dude just tried to grab my junk. There's no way. Yeah, but here goes the I, thing I, where people like Lil Rod, all that happened to him, but he kept coming back. He's like, I got nine songs. This shit's all these songs. Fuck that this, shit. This shit's gonna be a hit. When that shit nah. dropped, that shit sold 23,000. He brought 10 of them, so the real thing. <coughs> so when Rod tried to set it at him, boy, he get made. And he told him, no. That's when he did what he did, but he was groping him and tell you, know how he do. Bro, he's a weird, yo, he's, he's a weird motherfucker, yo. Like everything I'm telling you, bro. This dude tried to grab my shit. And I was like, I was young, I was young, dog. I was like just turned 18 type shit. You know what I mean? Like it was really fucking weird. And like I left, <clears throat> like I literally went home to the W Hotel, grabbed my shit, left that day, called my lawyer, Matt, told him what happened. I was like, yo, I can't work with this dude. Because even when we was in LA, right? <clears throat> Even when he was LA and, and Cassie, you remember how bad Cassie was? Cassie was incredible. That girl was just hot like you couldn't believe. He would like kick her out the house in his house and there'd be like all these weird motherfuckers coming over, partying. And I'm like, yo, and I, I remember, I actually remember being in the car with me and with me and my boy Mike. And it was like me, Big D. So you know, I'm saying these names so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because mm-hmm. Puff never went anywhere to LA without Big D. And we all know. <clears throat> but, yo, Big, this is the funniest thing. Big D gave Puff a gun in the car, yo. Like, just like, and I'm in the backseat laughing because I know Puff is not that guy. No, you know what I mean? I'm like, why, I'm, like, I'm like, why the fuck did he just give him a gun? And me and Mike, we're cracking up in the backseat, bro. We're like, yo, this dude is trying to play gangster right now. He's like, yeah. You know, we're going to roll up in this club. We got to be strapped up, though. You know, they still want to get me on him. Like, I don't think anybody really wants to get you anymore. And like, this is not 2000, dog. What? But I didn't say that. I just in the back of my head. And then he were at the club and the gun fell out of his pants and rolled on the floor. Like, rolled across the floor, dude. I mean, this is so much wacky shit, bro. Like, just so much weird shit. Like, he used to have that white girl follow him around with the bag, with the pills and shit. He's like, that's the problem. P- Puff is just on way too many fucking pills. That's I'm his gonna problem. I'm going to tell you this. That, that white dude, and, and which I know he's going to cooperate, his ass in trouble. Oh, he telling like a... Yo, that, that white... I'm gonna tell, let me tell you what's happening, guys. I'm going to tell you right now what's happening. He in trouble. Puff, is, Puff is being a blood sucker, like he always is, because Puff can't survive without the blood of young artists. He had all those young asses, his, his son, and all them had all them young ass kids coming over the house partying with him, and and Puff was trying to mix himself with the party, with the young kids. You know that's what happened, whack. And then all kinds of weird shit probably happened with like younger people, and then Puff was just being weirdo time, you know. But the the problem is that he's such a bad person. Ain't nobody standing next to him. No, nobody, nobody, nobody sitting. There. Ain't no DJ Khaled out there. Like even Ray J was like, uh, I'm not gonna talk about it right now. You know what I mean? This way, give TV. In the block. Everybody's uh, they're just like everybody knew in the, you know, whack. How long? 
in the industry and people be like, yo, be careful, don't go nowhere alone with him. Like, how long has that been a thing? Parking parties. Um, yeah. I uh, It's been like that. That's, that's know, been a thing. You know who to play with. But, but the thing is, is that he's hated so much that finally when this shit came down, ain't nobody standing next to him. Nobody. Like, who's standing next to Puff right now, Wack? Nobody. You don't see DJ Khaled out there fucking... DJ. But Stevie J... I'm a sorry, bro. Stevie J looks like the fruitiest motherfucker on Instagram, bro. You see this dude on Instagram? Like, like showing off his body, like, just doing the weirdest shit. Like, yo. This is weird. And, and yo, and Puff... Puff is not coming back from this. I don't give a fuck who you are. He done ruined 30 years of legacy. You know what I mean? And his kids is in the fire, too. Look, hey, did you hear that dumbass song? His son did. I, did, I, I didn't hear it. I didn't he hear it yet, but I And y'all missed it. We also own the house next door. Oh, yeah, I saw I saw. I saw 50 go now. Now, why would you say something stupid like that? Yeah, that's dumb as fuck. You're dumb. <laughs> I'm dead. You know, the only one that I don't think is going to get affected by it, to be honest with you, is the son that's not really attached to anybody. Nah, nah, he's going to be all right. Because he's like, I, I hit him. I was like, yo, you good? He's like, I'm not fucking with none of that shit, Jay. I said, okay, say less, Bubba. He's like... He's like, I'm not on what my brother and dad and all them are on, you know. But there's a lot of shit that's about to happen, bro. You wait till the shit Ron Burkle and all that shit rolls out. I probably shouldn't talk about that, but that's too deep. Yeah, I know this. People saying, why haven't they arrested him? When they come, it's going to be yeah, bad. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just, I was just going to ask you about that. It's been a minute. I mean, what's what do you think is happening? For one, they're gonna come get him when they got all their ducks in order. It's gonna be an absolute. You, you notice how R. Kelly was never able to bail out or nothing. They gonna come when they got a no bail situation for his ass. They gonna trump that shit up. They gonna trump it all up on him. the shit we know. Just remember, the shit we know is just what they told us. Mm -hmm. shit we don't know it's right here TV it, exactly it's like they first of all they made a real told everybody like yo they're making a real statement right now Puff they didn't do this with no Jeffrey Epstein none of that shit they're making a serious statement it's right here TV but like to, to, to raid yeah. them properties and to publicly watch that I knew some shit but I mean yo I mean I knew some shit was going down. I was like, yo, this is the end of Puff. And whatever it is, I mean, they didn't get 6 9 like that. You know what I mean? Well, six, they didn't nine, get. It was a little different. I know, but that was like street shit, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> but, like, th there was no helicopters over. Like, look, look at the way they raided him, bro. That shit was on every. It was like on fucking Good Morning America. So whatever it is, they getting ready to. I mean, they getting ready to fuck him with the long dick of the law for sure, bro. Like, how bad? You, I think whatever they have on him is so much more than like sexual assault. You know what I'm saying? It has to be Homeland Security. What? Yeah, that was a little different. Homeland Security don't come and get you unless you're a direct threat to the motherland. Right? Yeah, that's definitely different. Like, what do you think is going to happen? I think when they come get him, we ain't, ain't going to see him on the street no more. Like, ever, huh? Nah, hell no. Nah. Puffy got to be 50 something. Do so you think that the, the, the Puffy days are just over forever? First of all, he can't do no business right now. We going <laughs> to. Shit. Right? That's over with. Yep. Right? 
Nobody wants to do any business with him. Everybody walking away from him. The music shit already been over with. But think, think of how, think of how many executives though that have done crazy, crazy corrupt shit. Who are like sh- fucking shitting their pants right now? Well, it's been going on for the last fifteen years. Remember when they snatched L.A. Reid and all them? Remember? On the- I was just about. I was like, yo, Charlie Walk, L.A. Reid, all that shit. It's about to get real weird, man. These these music, but yo, yo, whack. These white Jewish people. I don't go to parties, bro. You know that. In these buildings, bro. That run these buildings. Like, just, I don't know if there's some shit going on. There's some real weird shit going on. So did you, did you, uh, Stu Puff, or what did you do? You made him. I just left. I never, I just, this first time I was talking about, I just left. I said, yo, you gonna give me back my publishing? I'm gonna give you back some money. And uh, I'm out. I actually got my publisher back as well. I'm signed a weird gag order like you made everybody else do. This is before the this is before the gag order. Because you know, he's been giving everybody back, back, back his publishing because he knew some shit was coming. But he made everybody sign crazy gag orders and gave his publishing back to him. Did you know that? Yeah, I know. They, they talked about it. Like he actually, like, right? Well, she's talking, right? Wait, which one is talking? Uh, one of them's talking. Aubrey. Yeah. She said she was doing a show with you guys or some shit. She said she was doing some shit. That shit that some crazy show. I can't remember what it was. She's on some crazy ass show. Baddies or some shit. No, I know she ain't on no baddie show. Yes, she is. I know she did the shit for TMZ. It's right, uh, Gift TV. Just, she just did the shit. Oh. Yeah, she's on. She, she's on the other side. She's involved in that somehow. She's involved in that somehow. I don't think she won't. She don't seem like she fight women. They be fighting on that motherfucking show. That's what I heard. I've never seen it. But she, she came out and started talking. She's actually 50 Cent. She's doing 50 Cent's documentary. Oh, that's bad. Oh, shit. Yeah, she's doing a real documentary, y'all. It's been sold to Netflix already. Oh, fucking 50. It's gonna be fucking crazy. 50 is such a troll. Such a fucking troll. Do you get along with 50? Yeah, man, 50 ain't got no problems. He's such a fucking troll, yo. Know? He's like the greatest troll of all time. Man, we don't have no problems. Crazy work by Diddy, man. What you guys think about the whole situation? Let your boy know down in the comments below. Appreciate the support, everybody tuning in to the channel, man. Keep that notification bell turned on at all times. So you don't miss out on no premium content. Everybody out there gritting and grinding. Keep your best foot forward. And remember to make the most of your day. You got 24 hours like everybody else. Apply yourself. Make it count. You got goals and dreams. You want to make come to light. You need to write it down on a sticky note. And execute that plan. Check your list off. Hard work and dedication will pay off. It will be greater later. You gotta stay down until you come up. You hear me? Stay down until you come up. Be proactive, man. But until next time, it's your boy Ray Given. I'm gone. God bless. Peace. Thanks for watching another reaction video. I'm out.